Pompeo and welcome to Never Enter with Aragon. So I'd like to go over the new set which we can obtain from the Vault of Stars, which came available to us just yesterday. So with this new set, it's very much like the Demon Lord set, but now it will actually additionally contribute to our healing. So in this video, I'd like to go over whether it's actually worth it to run on a DPS or a healer compared to the other sets we have available to us. So, I currently have this set fully maxed out on my healer build. So we have the Trickster's Gift Set, and it will give you an additional damage or healing up to 10% based on the difference between the hit point percentage of you and your target. So, for example, if I were to go and heal myself, right? My target's current hit points is at my max. I'm at full HP, as we can see by this bar. And if I go and I heal myself, will I gain any bonus by it? No, I will not. Because the formula works like this. You gain the absolute value of your target's current hit points, 100%. So that would be me. And I minus this by my current HP, which is another 100%. So 100% minus 100% is equal to zero. So I would gain zero benefit from the set if I want to heal myself and I'm at full HP. And this works with everybody else. If I were to go and heal lots of allies and they're all at full HP, I would heal them for 0% additional healing from this set. Now for actual DPS, it works the same. If I go and attack a target, and the target is initially at 100% hit points, and if I haven't taken any damage, I will also be at 100% hit points, and therefore I would gain zero benefit from the set. However, when it becomes really good is when you're decreasing the enemy's hit points. If my enemy's at 50% HP, and I'm at full HP, I will gain 5% bonus from the set, because 50% minus 100% is equal to 50% divided by 10, and therefore I would gain that 5% extra damage bonus. So this set is not really great when you just want to go and attack enemies and basically cast one encounter power and go and kill them in basically one or two shots. Then the set is not great whatsoever, as it will only give you a benefit to your extra damage or even healing when your target has reduced its hit points, or if you reduce your own hit points. Let's say I were to jump into a group of enemies, I would let them hit me, and then I would retaliate when I'm at low HP. Then I would gain a significant amount of damage. The problem in party content is you will have a healer, and your healer will be always trying to heal you up back to maximum amount of HPs. So if you play well, you will generally be at full HP, unless you're running particularly hard content and your healer isn't being able to keep you fully healed all the time. So is this set actually good for DPS and how does it compare to other options out there? Well, as a DPS, there are a variety of different sets you want to be looking at. For example, you might want the actual Lost Mouth set. The Lost Mouth set will give you that extra damage on a critical hit, which is really good and I made a video on it before. And it's very good, especially for like an AOE environment where you hit multiple enemies. And if you're fighting enemies and you can kill them very easily, then this Demon Lord set or this Trickster Skiff set won't make two ounces of a difference. There is, yes indeed, an item level difference between running, let's say, the Lost Mouth set and this actual Trickster's Gift set, sure, that item level will make up for a difference within endgame, but in scaled content, where you get your item level scaled down, that's when the item level difference doesn't make much of a difference whatsoever, as when you're scaled, you're just set to a specific item level. So as a DPS, I wouldn't really worry too much about it whatsoever. In endgame, again, it can be pretty decent, but you might want to be looking at different sets like the actual music box set right here where you gain up to 15% more damage when you cast a daily power. This is really good for like Trials, Tired Mad Mage or Zarya, but again it will depend on your class and I recommend looking up online specific updated builds for your DPS characters. I like to run with a rogue and I've generally been running with 
Infernal Forge set from Avernus. However, in Tower of the Mad Mage, a pretty decent set for consistent damage is the actual Mad Mage set. It's also pretty decent in Zarya. It will give you that standard 5% extra damage bonus when you stand still. So for like those artifact calls and things when you have the actual DPS checks when you need to just concentrate on focusing dealing tons of damage. Otherwise, dealing damage isn't specifically required as in there's no pressure on it other than in those DPS checks when you need to maximize your damage and normally you can stand still for that period of time. And on top of that, let's say with Zariel, she will lose hit points and she'll get to 60% and then she'll phase and after when you go fight her again, she'll be at full HP again. And it's the same with Halaster. So you won't always have her below that threshold of hit points. So you will only gain like a 3 or 4% bonus overall in the whole fight from this actual set. So you definitely might want to look at running the Mad Mage set instead. And this is endgame. You're always talking about 1% or 2% more. For you more casual players, for just Q content and such, I really wouldn't worry about it. Stick with the set you have and just use that. It's not worth investing the Astral Diamonds just to get this new set. Sure, it's nice and shiny and all, and not many people have it. But in the end, it's going to get outdated within a mod or two. So we move on to healer. Would I run this set on my healer build over the Tiamat set? Well, short answer is no, I wouldn't. The reason being is that it's a very variable set, especially on a paladin healer. On a paladin healer, I can focus on giving people shields, meaning I can cast these heal powers when I don't actually need to heal and it will give them an actual layer of protection. So whenever they get hit, they will lose the shield instead of losing their actual hit points. And this is why it might not be good at all to run the set because you won't give you a bonus. Whereas if I run with the Tiamat set, I will gain this bonus all the time, this extra 5% and along with that I'll gain a bonus to my incoming healing, which is also really good especially to keep myself alive so unless you're running content where the tank takes a ton of damage all the time and they're like never at full hp and they're like always below half hp that's when you might want to run the set other than that sure you can try not healing yourself and be at a really low amount of hit points and then accidentally draw aggro from one mob and die but if you did moderate your own hit points and be at a really low amount Sure, you could gain a significant amount of bonus from the set by being, let's say, at 10 to 20 percent, and you could gain that extra 8 to 9 percent from this set. But that would require you not healing yourself, meaning you couldn't use, let's say, like Healing Word or Sheltering Light to heal your allies. And also, when you go out of combat, you'll regenerate health automatically. That would be an interesting way to play. Try and keep yourself at low hit points so you can heal others better. Sure, if you want to do that, by all means, go ahead and try, but I wouldn't recommend it. And for healers, just stick with the Tia Mat set. It's all around really good, especially when you get scaled down, when this item level doesn't matter two ounces whatsoever. So that's pretty much it. My conclusion is, for DPS, sure. For most classes, it's pretty good when you're running against very tanky mobs, where it takes a while to actually finish them off and kill them. For most boss fights, it's also pretty good, especially when the boss requires you to move around a lot to avoid mechanics, and it's not going to make a huge difference. So, for a lot of classes, yes, the new Trickster's Gift Set is pretty good. As for a healer, no, I would prefer just to stick with the Tiamat set. You can try running with the new set, again, it's not going to make a huge difference. All of these we're talking about is just small percentages. 10% in casual play, it's not going to make much of a difference whatsoever. The only time it really matters for damage is when you're at a damage check and you have to get past the damage check or you all die. That's only when it really matters. As for healing, again, there's a lot of flexibility. Everybody has their own ways of being survivable and the healer's just there to make sure he can top up those hit points again. Sure, you want to ideally have the best of the best to give you the widest possibility of success, but in the end, I would just recommend sticking with the Tiamat set. So, hopefully I presented this well, if I did, consider leaving the video a like, and if you're new around here, consider subscribing. I will see you guys around. Goodbye for now.